Sam here from Aunt M's Quilts and M's Scrap Bag and as promised I'm back to show you how to make this basket block. Isn't that a fun block to make it scrap friendly? It is one of the blocks in the Blooms to Basket quilt so you can purchase that pattern in my Etsy shop or if you'd like you can join my sew along. So each week you will get a new block with video instructions as long, along with a PDF for you to make that block. This is my first quilt in the sew along. So in order to get access to this quilt, you need to be in the elite status, which means you've been a member for six months. And when you've been a member for six months, not only do you get access to the two quilts that are always currently present on the sew along, so the one that is currently having a block dropped each week plus the previous one. But when you get reach elite status, you get access to all of the previous quilts. So there's two more quilts currently right now in the sew along that you would get access to plus all of their bonus content. So there's lots of little smaller projects that you can create using those blocks. So you can choose which way you would like to do that. But for now, I want to show you how to make this cute, simple basket block. So let's get started. To make your basic basket block, say that three times fast, you are going to want two nine inch squares, one of background and one for your basket. You're going to want two half square triangles that will finish at two inch. So they're going to measure two and a half inch before you sew them. You're going to want one two and a half by ten and a half inch rectangle of background and three two and a half by eight and a half inch background rectangles. What we're going to do first is just draw a diagonal line on our nine inch background square. So just going corner to corner to make our basket, we're going to put our nine inch squares right sides together, line it all up, and we're going to take our ruler going from corner to corner, and we're going to cut this across like this. I forgot to mention them in the materials. You're going to want some rickrack or bias tape. Whichever you choose, I have a video for making your own bias tape. So if you want to match it to the fabric that you've chosen for your basket, you can do that. And I will put a card up above and a link down below on how to make that bias tape. For just because I'm doing this quick here, I'm going to use the Rick Rack. So I'm going to open this up. I'm going to come in about two inches and I'm going to take my Rick Rack and I'm just going to place it around to make the handle of my basket. And you can just play with how you want your basket handle to look. You can glue stick that in place. I'm just going to separate this here. Make me a quick cut for my basket handle. Do make sure that you leave um, about an inch on each side so that you'll have room for your seam and still have some background in there. Then you can pin this or glue stick it in place and take it to the machine and sew your handle on. Once you get your handle sewn on, you're just going to right sides together your two triangles and just sew a quarter inch across. These other two triangles that you have, you can use to make another basket. But you will need to cut more of your background rectangles and two more half square triangles. So we're going to sew this along here. Once we get our triangles sewn together, we're going to take one of our two and a half by eight and a half inch rectangles and we're going to sew that to one side of our basket. Next we're going to take our two and a half by ten and a half inch rectangle 
and we're going to sew that along the top of our basket. Next, we're going to make our basket base by using our half square triangles and our remaining two and a half by eight and a half inch rectangles. So we're going to make sure you have it going this way so they're mirrored each other. And we'll sew this one on here and this one on here. Next, we're going to sew one of these legs onto our basket and the other one we are going to sew our two and a half inch background square to. So let's take that to our sewing machine and sew those. Our last step is to sew this base onto our basket. So we'll just flip that over, line up seams, and sew that on. And that will finish your basic basket block. You can play with this. There's more baskets in the blooms and basket pattern. If you would like to get all of those, you can either join the sew along and get um, our current sew along a block every week, plus the previous sew alongs, or you can um, now buy the pattern. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye.